Hello and welcome back to the channel guys. In this video, we are going to be picking every single SEC football game for the 2024 season using this beautiful website, Playoff Predictors. We've done every power conference now except for the SEC, which we're going to do here. So the website, pretty self-explanatory. You've got the standings here on the left side. I'll try to get that fit into the frame as much as possible. And then you pick every game for the season as we get hit with an ad early but you pick every game for the season so like arkansas or arkansas pine bluff missouri over murray state and uh, it just allows us to do so so as usual i'm going to link the website down in the bio and we're just going to go through a very relaxed video picking every game in the sec usually for these smaller games against fcs opponents maybe weak group of five opponents although respect to western kentucky they're still going to be a cusa contender uh i'm not going to go too in depth on my reasoning, but we'll talk about some of the more pivotal games in the week, uh, like Virginia Tech Vanderbilt. Maybe it's worth talking about a little bit. I think Virginia Tech gets that job done on the road. Vanderbilt's not a too intimidating road environment, but it is still a road game versus a power conference team. But give me Virginia Tech. Clemson, Georgia. I'm not bold enough to pick Clemson as a 14 point underdog to beat Georgia, but I acknowledge maybe there's a scenario where they're able to catch Georgia and they're able to beat them. A lot of weird stuff going on with Georgia because of the offseason. I'm still going to rock with the Bulldogs. Miami at Florida is another really interesting one. In the swamp, early season game could be shaky for Miami. I'm still going to take the Hurricanes in that road matchup. Notre Dame at Texas A&M, another absolute monster of a game. And I have gone back and forth on this one. I do think I'm going to take the Aggies at home. I really think they can get the job done there, win that early season game, get the Mike Elko era started off. I just think Notre Dame doesn't have enough established weapons on offense for me to feel comfortable. And in an early season game, those are the types of issues that can really hurt you down the stretch, especially if A&M comes out more potent on defense than you're expecting, which we know they have a great defense talent-wise. Uh, and then, of course, we have LSU versus USC. Last game here, I'll probably be at this game. I talked about this in the Big Ten video. I think that LSU defensive front is probably going to be the key difference maker in that game. And for that reason, I think that they're going to be able to uh, win that game versus USC. The site being a little laggy here, but hopefully we can get it to slow down again for us. We get into week two where there's some really exciting games in the SEC, like Arkansas at Oklahoma State. If Arkansas wins this game, it's a nightmare scenario for the Big 12. And I think I touched on that in the Big 12 video a little bit, but basically they're considered a lower rung SEC team. Oklahoma State's considered a top tier Big 12 team. So if they beat that and win that, the uh, basically the lens through people view the Big 12 will, will absolutely be shifted. Auburn, I think, gets a victory over Cal. Don't sleep on this Cal team, though. On the road, they definitely tested Auburn at Cal last season. I do think it's a slightly better Auburn team, but I think it's a slightly better Cal team as well. Shout out to Fernando Mendoza, who is a fan of the channel and a fan of CF Budge. So that's pretty cool stuff. Texas at Michigan. I do like the Longhorns in that game. I think they'll get the job done in the big house. And it's just going to be a tough game. If Michigan wins that one, uh, the Wolverines are going to be legit. And we're going to know that pretty early. We've got some more FCS matchups here. Ole Miss at home against Middle Tennessee as part of that soft start to their schedule. We'll probably see them start undefeated for the first good part of the season here. South Carolina, Kentucky. It's an early game. The Wildcats rebuilding that backfield. Beamer ball, I think, will be in full effect. I think South Carolina could maybe get hot early in the season. I think there's a scenario where that happens. But for the purposes of this video, I'll pick Kentucky. And then I think South Florida loses Alabama. Tennessee, NC State, another interesting one. I think they're going to be rolling. I think Nico's the guy. I think they win that. Oklahoma shouldn't have any problems versus Houston. But I wouldn't be surprised if Houston comes out a little rowdy in that game. And then Mississippi State at Arizona State. Pretty sure I've been consistent with picking the Bulldogs in these videos in that game. I just think that the line of scrimmage is going to be too much for that Arizona State team early. LSU at South Carolina. This one could be interesting. I, in this scenario, think LSU will have beat USC in Las Vegas, but maybe they're not ready for an early season game at, against a rowdy South Carolina team. I think they can play Beamer Ball. I think that uh, they've got Lenore Sellers. They've got Nick Harbour. They've just got a lot of guys in this roster that can ball. And uh, another guy to keep an eye out for, Raheem Sanders, who's on that squad. I don't think a lot of people have realized that Alabama is going to get an early test at Wisconsin. I don't know if I'm bold enough to pick Wisconsin, but we'll see when the week comes. That's one of those ones where if the week comes and I'm feeling it, I'll totally pick Wisconsin. Missouri at home versus Boston College shouldn't be an issue. Interesting, dicey little game there between Tulane and Oklahoma. Uh, A&M at Florida is another one. My goodness, do you trust A&M to go into the swamp and get the victory? I think I'm going to pick Florida here. I didn't pick them against Miami, but I think at home they're going to be pretty reliable. Take Arkansas over UAB. We've got Wake Forest playing host to Ole Miss here, 
and I think Ole Miss gets the victory. This would be a dangerous game if we were talking about Wake Forest from a couple seasons ago, but they had a really ugly year. They did go undefeated in the non-conference, though, so I guess something to keep an eye on there. Texas UTSA could get a little chippy, but ultimately I like Texas. Same with Toledo, Mississippi State. First year, Jeff Levy. Be careful against Toledo. Uh, and then Georgia at Kentucky. I think Georgia is going to dominate this game. Kentucky just isn't at the ta talent level needed to pull an upset on Georgia like that. But that's still going to be a decently tough game, and Kentucky will certainly be ready for them. Vanderbilt to Georgia State is actually huge if you're taking over two and a half wins for Vanderbilt. And I think Vandy wins that one, giving themselves their second victory on the season. We get to week four. Arkansas at Auburn. Man, just another one of those ones where could be a coin flip. Auburn's a very young, going to be inconsistent team. I just do not have a lot of faith in what Arkansas is building this year. So I'm going to take Auburn in that game. We've got UCLA at LSU. Give me LSU. I think UCLA is in for a down year. I don't know if I picked them to win a conference game in my Big Ten video, which might have been a little extreme, but I just don't have a ton of faith in them. Give me some of these SEC teams in these lighter matchups. Florida at Mississippi State. This is a huge test for Florida early. If they lose this game at Mississippi State, Napier is going to be in serious trouble, but I think they get the job done. That's a 3-1 and start, including 2-0 and in conference. Billy Napier is going to need it, especially with you look if you look at that back half of the schedule. Tennessee at Oklahoma. This one's an early test. Is Nico ready? Is Oklahoma ready? I mean, there's just a lot of intrigue in a game like this. Give me the Sooners. I tend to trust the home teams a little more in the early season, but Already, we've had several really tough matchups to pick. I mean, the SEC, harder to pick than any other conference, I think. I think a and beats Arkansas and Dallas. I already talked about the Hogs. Don't have a ton of faith in them. I should pick them for a conference game or something. I don't think they go completely winless. We've got, like, the Jeremy Renner silk ad down there. That's pretty funny. Uh, Georgia at Alabama. Man, what an early test. Got to rock with Georgia. It's just too tall of a task early in the season for Kalen DeVore and this team, and I just don't know if I can trust them. Kentucky at Ole Miss. Give me Ole Miss. I'm buying them. They're going to be feeling good. They're going to be 5-0 and after that game, still undefeated. Texas shouldn't have any issues against Mississippi State. Oklahoma at Auburn is another really interesting one. Oklahoma riding high after a victory over Tennessee. Does Auburn get the job done? Both undefeated in this scenario. I think this would be a pretty big game, probably top 25. Give me Oklahoma, though, to pass an early test. Missouri at Texas A&M. It's another one of those games, man. These games are just so tough to predict. I think I'll take Florida at home against UCF as well, although I do really like UCF football this season. Tennessee at Arkansas. Ole Miss at South Carolina. Another one where I'm tempted to pick the Gamecocks, but I already gave them the benefit of the doubt earlier in this video, giving them a win that maybe they shouldn't have had. Georgia, I don't think, loses the rivalry game to Auburn. And then here it is, Missouri at Texas A&M. Where am I leaning in this game? I think I'm leaning toward... I got I to gotta respect what Missouri did last year, but at the same time... I feel like with Missouri, it could be a case where they got a lot of bounces last season and the margins were super thin. I feel like it's a case where they could have a better team and still have some bounces go against them, especially if you don't have a guy like Blake Baker uh, around the team. It's just a tough road game. Texas-Oklahoma, Red River rivalry. Give me Texas to win that game to start 6-0. Oklahoma getting their first loss here in this selection. Tennessee's got to whoop Florida. It's been the home team back and forth after that long Florida streak in this series, and I think Tennessee's able to get the win there. Uh, Ole Miss at LSU, man, just another monster, monster game. I feel like LSU has a lot of questions they've got to answer this season. I don't know how many of those questions they have answered, but at home, I think I've got to pick them versus Ole Miss. Georgia gets Mississippi State, and Alabama beats South Carolina, so... We are, we are left with two undefeated teams, Texas and Georgia, and they're the ones who play this week. Vandy hitting the over in that win total with their third win. That's probably the only thing Vanderbilt fans will have to celebrate from this video. Kentucky and Florida. I like Florida to win this game. That gets them to 5-2. and two. They are a game away from bowl eligibility, something to track as well. And this is me picking Florida, I think, in a lot of games that they will be favored in. So if they can just flip like that game against Miami, I think bowl eligibility is more realistic for Florida than some people realize. Bama at Tennessee, I just think Rocky Top's going to be rocking. And we saw what it was like last time Bama went into there. I think that's another time they can get the best of them. Georgia at Texas, I think the Bulldogs can beat the Longhorns on the road. I think they're ready for that task. I don't know if they necessarily stay in scathe, so stay tuned. LSU at Arkansas, another one. Uh, maybe this is where I give Arkansas their victory. They play LSU closely a lot, and I think at home, maybe against a Brian Kelly squad that has some weaknesses in the secondary and the defensive line. Give me Arkansas on a weird one there. 
Uh, like I said, I had to find somewhere they could get a victory. I don't think Mississippi State wins this one at home, and I think Missouri beats Auburn in a home game there. So we keep going. Texas, give me that win. Ole Miss hosting Oklahoma. I think that's a big opportunity where Lane Kiffin's squad can get a signature win. Auburn and Kentucky, another one that is just extremely difficult for me to predict here. I'm going to stick with Kentucky because I think Auburn's inconsistency could flare up throughout the season. Alabama at home versus Missouri. That's Missouri's second loss on these picks. Got to monitor that. LSU at Texas A&M now. I've had Elko's squad rolling, but I definitely think there'll be bumps in the road. So we're going to take LSU in that one. And then give me Arkansas to win at Mississippi State. I think Mississippi State won in Fayetteville last season, but I just don't know. Jeff Levy's not a guy I can give the benefit of the doubt. He's never been a head coach, and yet we've still got them at 4-5 and five because of those four non-conference victories. Um, give me Auburn over Vanderbilt. They get to 5-4. and four. Texas A&M at South Carolina. I've been talking about Beamer Ball a lot. I'm going to give them another home victory. That South Carolina squad, I think, can play Beamer Ball, which is fluky. It's not pretty, and it gets you some wins. Florida, Georgia, give me Georgia in that game. Kentucky at Tennessee is another intriguing one on the surface, but I'm going to take Tennessee at home. Ole Miss at Arkansas, not going to give Arkansas three straight conference victories, although that would be crazy. So things are heating up. We're here in week 11. Bama at LSU. Give me LSU with the home victory. I just think road games will be tough for Alabama in year one for Kalen DeBoer. That, I think, will be the biggest difference from the DeBoer teams to the uh, from the Saban teams, basically. Uh, Oklahoma, Missouri is another just tricky one. I'm going to take Missouri at home. That's hands Oklahoma their third loss. Give me Texas over Florida. Give me Tennessee. Give me South Carolina. Georgia at Ole Miss, why not? Give me Ole Miss at home. They've circled this year. The Grove is going to be going crazy. Georgia has to play a lot of tough road games. I was going to pick them to lose one of those regardless, but give me Georgia's bounce-back victory over Tennessee. Give me Texas over Arkansas. Give me Auburn over Louisiana Monroe. Give me Kentucky. Give me Bama. Give me a and Missouri at South Carolina, another tricky one. Let's just go bounce a ball. Some people are going to call me crazy. I got to get South Carolina those six wins. I think it's going to be crazy. I think they're going to get wins in unlikely spots, and that's just one of those things where it's a gut feeling. Florida, we've got them at 5-4 and four now, hosting LSU, um, it's just one of those ones, man, where you go back and forth in your head. I think I'm going to take Florida uh, over LSU in that game. And we've got week 13 now, cupcake week for a lot of these SEC schools near the bottom. Ole Miss at Florida. Hear me out. Maybe I pick Florida in this game. Rocking in the swamp. Have I picked Florida in every home game? Almost every home game. This is their last home game against Ole Miss. I don't know if I'm comfortable saying Ole Miss will go 11-1. and one. I Maybe I take Florida, and let's just get a little crazy. We'll see where this ends up going. Bama at Oklahoma. I think the Crimson Tide can get that win. We got Texas A&M traveling to play Auburn. Tough road game. Inconsistent Auburn team. Maybe this is where one of their highs hits. This video might be on a little bit of crack if I pick Auburn here, but we're going to do it. Mississippi State hosting Missouri. Give me Missouri to get the win. I'm going to have Mississippi State going winless in conference. And I think I'm okay with that. We're going to pick some of these rivalry games here. A lot of chalk. I think Florida loses that one to go to 7-5 and five on the year. Tennessee getting the win there. I think Kentucky's got Louisville's number. And then this one. I've definitely got my eyes on this one. I think this Texas A&M environment is going to be so ballistically insane in such an awesome rivalry atmosphere that I don't know if I can see Texas coming out with a win in that game. So we're handing them their second loss there. Oklahoma at LSU is another intriguing one late in the season. If Oklahoma wins, they finish 8-4. and four. LSU finishes 8-4. and four. Let's take LSU as the home team, which puts Oklahoma to 7-5, and five, which is maybe a little bit more losses than I would have typically given them. And then we pick Alabama to win against Auburn. So that gives us we're, our final standings here. Now, full transparency, my actual predictions are Texas versus Georgia in the SEC championship game, which is pretty much chalk. And in this one, we don't have Texas playing Ole Miss or Tennessee. So... This could be it. Georgia versus Ole Miss in the SEC title game is, I suppose, my prediction. And I believe I have Ole Miss losing a weird one in there to go 10-2. and two. Like, they might lose to, I guess, just Florida was the, the kind of strange one. So, you got Georgia at the top, Ole Miss there, Tennessee going 10-2 and two as well. I think Nico's going to really take control of that offense, but there's certainly a lower floor for them. Texas at 10-2. and two. I just think there's no chance Texas gets out of this slate undefeated. There's going to be somewhere they get bit. And I think the same thing with Georgia. I don't see an undefeated SEC team coming out. You look at those schedule dynamics and the way things boil out and pan out for these teams. I mean, it's going to be tough sledding. LSU actually ends up 
Higher than I thought they'd be with three losses. Bama with three losses. I think the Boers team is still going to be pretty great. But like I said, those road games, they might struggle. Looks like all three, no, two of those losses on the road, one of them at home. Missouri at 9-3 and three as well, all the way down at 7th in the SEC standings. Kind of puts in perspective how deep this conference is. Then we've got Florida at 7-5 and five with two non-conference losses, but still a bowl game. Beamer ball, we actually ended up putting at 7-5, and five, which is more wins than I usually end up going with them. So maybe I got a little too crazy on some of these. Maybe we could have given, you know, uh, this game to LSU or, or this game to... Missouri, I guess, but then that had Missouri at 10 and 2, which I think is a little steep. So I'm actually kind of okay with that. AM at 8 and 4. I think it's going to be a great, successful year for Elko, but the expectations going forward will be higher. Oklahoma, 7 and 5. Usually I come out with like an 8 win record for Oklahoma, but 7 and 5 I still think is a possibility. Then you've got Kentucky and Auburn also making bowl games, and then the three that are missing Arkansas, Mississippi State, and Vandy. We did give Arkansas a couple conference wins there, but Totally, you could talk me into just flipping this game and having them both with one conference victory. I'm not really high on either of those two teams or any of these three teams making a bowl game. But that is it, my complete SEC predictions. Let me know down in the comments what you think is going to happen in the SEC if you like these predictions. Might do some group of five conferences, so uh, let me know if you want me to, to see me do a group of five conference before the season starts because I'd be happy to do that. Uh, but that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I will see you guys later this week.